community college football program and new since six o'clock. The campus is reacting to the news and many are not happy about the way it played out. We're also hearing firsthand tonight from the man who coached the team in its last season and has since taken another job. 24 Hour News 8's Danny Carlson has been working this story all night long as she joins us from campus tonight. Danny. Head coach Tony Anise tonight. He said when he first heard that GRCC had decided to pull the plug on its football program, he was shocked and angry. And he told us he's been somewhat devastated by the text messages and phone calls that he's gotten from former players who are still here at GRCC. Players who we've seen firsthand tonight are very upset by the school's decision. He called up really disappointed and said that. Dad, they, they just discontinued the football program. This past season was Philip Fracano's son's first on the GRCC football team, and he hoped to be back for a second year. Now, out of the blue, he says, all that's changed. The school and the football went hand in hand, and uh, I don't want him to give up on one just because the other one's gone. Fracano says a lot of his son's teammates feel the same way. Many, he says, are thinking about transferring. All, he says, are feeling lost. I know talking to my son and a, f a few that he's talking to, they're, they're, they're confused. After 80 years, Grand Rapids Community College decided to pull the plug on its football program, the only community college program in the state. These are tough times, and we've had to cut um, in terms of budgets across the board um, over the last several years, and certainly our athletic program has not been one that's been shielded from that. And that was one of the reasons GRCC cited to end it. There were four main concerns, having to travel to play opponents, trips that cost thousands, Title IX concerns, trouble finding housing and other things for out-of-area players, and the main reason GRCC officials say they looked at shutting down the program now. Once we got to the point where Coach Anise de decided to depart, at that point then it, we started looking at it. In the history of, of the whole thing, you know, the, this has been kind of an ongoing dialogue for a while. It's been, should we have a program, should we not? Now that I'm leaving, I guess it's, you know, it's kind of a comfortable time. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's the force that's causing them to terminate the program. It's just a comfortable time, I think. Coach Anise told us in the past five years, four junior colleges and GRCC's conference have ended their football programs. School officials here told us that they do plan to have spring conditioning for former football players this year. They said they do plan to work with those football players, whether or not they want to stay here at GRCC or if they want to transfer to other schools. Now, we talked to school officials tonight and we asked them, do you guys plan to bring the football program back? They didn't say no, but they said possibly if the economy improves. We asked Coach Anise that same question, and he said he would be shocked if GRCC ever had a football program again. Live in downtown Grand Rapids tonight, Danny Carlson, 24-Hour News 8.